let's go over how to manage the instruments that you added here in the toolbar. You can see that it, the toolbar here for the various instruments is tabbed. And right now I'm currently accessing the S&P E-mini because it has a blue line underneath it. If I click on another instrument here, for example on the bonds, you can see that now that chart is what is accessed and open here in the main chart window. Let's click back on the ES. Okay. Now you can also uh, add new instruments here. If you want to add a new instrument, the number of uh, instruments that you can add here is depending on your broker. Now if you have several instruments that you've added all the way across here, uh, you can uh, on the right hand side uh, click on the arrow here and also access the various instruments here from the drop down. So right now I'm looking at the ES, but let's look at the uh, uh, the gold chart here. Okay, and now I'm accessing the gold chart as you can see. Okay, let's click back on the ES. Now suppose you have multiple monitors, and most of us do, and you want to add different instruments on the different uh, monitors. Uh, you can do that by popping some of these instruments out from the tabbed area here. You can either do that by left click holding and dragging and dropping it any place here uh, in the chart and uh, it will open up or you can just double click on the instrument. Uh, I'm going to choose the oil here and I'm going to double click on it. And you can see now that that popped out into a new uh, book map chart. Okay. Now this chart is a little different. It doesn't. It's not the main chart because the main chart has file settings and help up here. Okay. So uh, you can resize this and configure this chart to uh, whatever you like, uh, and place it on that monitor. Now, if I click the close button here, it won't close the instrument. It will only close this chart, uh, and you'll see that the instrument will pop back into the main tabbed window here. So I'll close it here and you can see it popped right back here. Okay. Now if I close the instrument here in the main window by clicking on the X uh, button here, this will close down the instrument entirely. Uh, I will need to re-add it back into the tabbed area here uh, by clicking on the plus button. And I will lose all the previously recorded data that I had from that instrument. I will not be able to import that uh, previously recorded data. All right, so let's go through the uh, layout here. Uh, let's say that uh, I have the ES chart here and uh, I, I want to move the tab over to the other side. I can left click, hold, and drag it uh, and have it show up here uh, on the left side of my uh, main window. Now, if I like the layout that I have, including uh, the multiple monitor setup, you can save that workspace. We can click on File and we can save the workspace here. We can also save the workspace as uh, and make a copy of it. Uh, we can open a previously saved workspace or create a new one here. Okay, so that's the workspaces. Now the different chart settings. Uh, look at my ES chart here and you can see that I have the indicator panel down below. I'm looking at uh, half an hour between each vertical dotted line here in the time frames uh, and I have a uh, different uh, uh, volume setting and the columns over here uh, is set up a very specific way. Now let's click back on my oil chart and you can see the distinction. Uh, I don't have the indicator panel. I'm not looking at as much data. I have five minutes between each vertical dotted line and I have my volume settings to display uh, each five minutes. Uh, you can also note here that the columns are configured in a different way. Uh, let's suppose I want this oil chart to be like my ES chart. Okay. You can do that by clicking here uh, just to the right of the toolbar uh, in the blank space here. Just right click and you'll get a drop down menu and you want to select inherit chart settings from. Now you can search uh, here uh, older chart settings uh, from previously expired contracts here uh, and that's a quick way to get uh, the settings from your uh, older contracts. 
or I can close this and then we'll come up here and right click again and I can get or inherit the chart settings from the uh, charts that are opened up right now. So I'll select the ES right here. Okay, And you'll note now that my oil chart has the same configuration as my ES chart. The heat map setting is the same. Uh, the time frames are the same. Uh, the indicator panel is now here and the column settings are uh, the same as well as the volume configurations.